Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Worm Whisper here, and I just want to thank you guys all for all your support on my channel. It's been really appreciated, and I can't believe the amount of support I'm getting. Thank you so much. Today, I've got a great video lined up for you. It's all about, is owning a worm farm even worth it? First, you need to ask yourself, why am I getting a worm farm? Do I need worms for fishing? Do I want composting worms to help make a healthier planet? Do I need some worm castings for my house plants? When thinking about these things, you have to decide, is it worth it for me to have a worm farm? Do I need enough of these things to make it worth my time? Would I just like to do it for a hobby? If not, you may just want to buy some worms for your fishing trips or buy a bag of worm castings from your local garden center. This will be a lot less work and time. Do you have space to put a worm farm? Depending on the size of your worm bin you would like to make or one you have purchased, you may or may not have enough space for your worm bin setup. Before making or buying a vermicomposting bin, make sure you are going to have space for it. A home bath, a homemade bathtub isn't going to work in most people's living rooms. Find the dimensions online for your bin or tub that you would like to use for your worm farm. Then make sure it will fit where you would like to place it. Is your environment suitable for a worm farm? Where is your worm farm going to be? Will it be set up in a cold garage that is perfect for the summer temperatures, but when the winter comes your bin will freeze? This is something you will need to think about when you start a new worm bin. Am I even able to get some composting worms, fishing worms safely? Do you know someone or a place you can buy your worms? Not only do you need a place to buy your worms, but you will also need to make sure you are buying healthy worms. If you get them through mail order, are you going to get them before they die in your mailbox or roast to death in your 90 degree Fahrenheit community mailbox? Whoever you buy your worms from, make sure they have a good track record of safely shipping worms to their customers. You will need to arrange to make sure you can get them before they are harmed. When I first bought my worms, they came on a heated bus for shipping in December. I was there at the bus to get them when they arrived. You will need to plan out how to get your worms in the safest possible way and be able to get them before they are harmed. Do I have the time to look after a worm farm? Depending on how large or small your bin is, you are going to have to do some maintenance with your worm farm. Whether it be feeding, cleaning, harvesting fishing worms, harvesting your worm castings, your worm farm will require attention from time to time. Don't let that scare you out of worm farming, but you will need to put some work into looking after your worm farm. Do you create enough food to feed your worms? Depending on how big your worm bin grows, you will need enough food to feed your worm farm. Are you going to make enough food scraps to make sure the worms are fed? If you don't create enough food scraps for yourself, can you get scraps from other places like friends or relatives? Are you willing to buy food for your worms if you can't get enough free food scraps on your own? Okay, so that wraps up our video. I hope this video will help anyone that's thinking about getting into worm farming to get to know what it's all about and decide if worm farming is something that you would like to get into. I love to see people worm farming. It's rewarding and it's great for the planet and it's great for your garden. And if this video helped you, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get more video alerts. Thank you for watching everybody and as always, have a great day.